All right, this is first grade, module one, lesson nine. And in this lesson, uh, students are gonna be continuing to practice the adding with the results unknown kinds of problems. Um, uh, put together problems is another way to say it. And essentially what they're doing is that we just have more opportunities in this lesson to continue practicing that part, part, whole relationship. In Eureka Math, they call it the number bond system where we have the total and then the two parts breaking off from it. And sometimes it's going up and down. Sometimes it's uh, side to side. And, and so this is just uh, more practice uh, of that concept. All right, so what I love about this problem, is it says use the picture to tell a math story, is it's not Im immediately clear to our first grader exactly what the math story should be, and that's because we want the students to make up the story themselves. Oh, what can the story be? Oh, it, one story can be, I see some boys and I see some girls. So I see, let's see, seven kids total. And uh, I see, and I'm going to circle it to make it obvious, but I'm going to see one, two, three, four. So I see four boys and I see three girls. So that could be my story. And then way over here, what's the number bond going to look like? Well, the number bond would be here's our whole. And then our parts are going to be four and three. And remember, parents and teachers, they could have swapped this and have a three up here and a four down here. That's because addition is commutative, and you're allowed to say that to our first graders. It's okay. And then ideally right here, the students are going to say there are seven students. So the idea going back here is, does this have, is this the only story that's possible? No way. We could say uh, we've got one kid playing sports and six kids not playing sports. So our number sentence might look, well, we have seven kids, but now our number sentence is one plus six because we have one student playing a sport and then nobody else playing sports. So there's a variety of math stories that our students could create for this problem. So here students are going to continue connecting real life stories with the mathematics and the picture that's related. So we see that Liv uh, plays at the park and she plays with three girls and six boys. I'm going to underline that. And then how many kids does she play with at the park? And we're supposed to draw that picture. So parents and teachers, it's not an art contest, but let our students draw the picture to represent the story that they've just been given. So there's our three girls, and then here's our three, uh, six boys. Oh, gee whiz. <laughs> some of my boys are tall, and some of them are short. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, and here's six. All right, so there's my three girls, six boys. So what down here... What is our number sentence going to look like now? The thing I also notice is um, I chose two problems where the answer is on the left side. I love this about Eureka Math teachers in that uh, traditionally a lot of kids think the answer always has to be on the right side of the equation, and that's just not true. So Eureka Math is going into great lengths to try and um, get kids to think that the answer could be on either side of the equation, and the question, so to speak, can be on either side of the equation. And so if we want to write our number sen sentence, it's going to look like this. And remember, of course, it could also look like this. And really, it could also, we can switch it around and have the answer be on the right side of the equation as well. And so the idea is what's over here, Liv plays with nine kids. And that wraps up a very brief video on Lesson one, uh, 9, Grade 1, Module 1, Lesson 9, where students are writing some equations to connect with some word problems. And they're really still practicing that part-part-whole relationship in the form of number bonds and writing it as number sentences, etc.